I'm a needy boy. Um, um, I can't believe they're really making me commentate the guy that just beat me. Well, that just That's means crazy. you have all the tame and chance in the world to absolutely uh, crap on the guy. <laughs> nah, our set was really good. I, that was a good I mean, I'd play that set any day. No, no joke, actually. It's good to commentate the people that you just lost to because, A, as a commentator, <coughs> you can supply sort of the, hmm, you know what I learned? That is really annoying when he does that. Yes. And then uh, also it's nice because uh, then you can study and learn. It's also nice. Never fall for the same trick twice. Yeah, it's also interesting to see what other people do against kind of like certain set play in a sense. Because like I played both John Z or D John's uh, Lucina and uh, Kirby, so I know a little bit about both. And uh, that uh, up air drag down not gonna kill barely though. But nice up smash on reaction. Ice is kind of dominant right now. Yeah, and Ice went into losers early and has just been making a tear ever since he got down there. Yeah, no, he lost to Stelter? I it think was, it was. in fact, Stelter, yeah. It was, like, round two, and here he is, top eight. Just shows consistency, honestly. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I feel like Ice is actually very inconsistent. I know, right? That's the funny part. Yeah, it's all power to him, but, like, I feel like there's some times where I'm like, oh, Ice has this one. Like, this is a matchup, and the player, the Ice is fine. And then he just loses, and I'm like, okay. I feel like he's been def... Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. That hurts. But uh, as I was saying, I definitely feel like Ice has been, like, like on the come up recently in terms of, like, he, like, he took, a, like, a break from the game, and then he's been back at it, and uh, it's, it's pain. He's up 1-0, and uh, we're going to go to FD here. Will we get the Kirby? No way. Oh, oh my way. god, way. What? Why? I wonder, uh, Man, it, it's really hard to co-main people. To co-main characters in the sun. Especially because, like, like... Well, okay, hold on a second. Because on the one hand, Lucina and Kirby are vastly different characters. But Lucina is uh, one of the easiest characters to co-main in. Yeah. It is... Like, I'll be honest. That character no, does it, not require a lot of uh, deep... You're right. In-depth uh, tech and knowledge. You're right, but it's just kind of like... It's just kind of like something about the other character. Like, if you vibe with the character, and, like, I assume Dijon, like, vibes with Kirby, because, like, I, I feel I mean, like that's what he... Who doesn't? Kirby's, who's like, a vibe and guy. Yeah, hey, exactly. Who game? Who game? Kirby was just, like, here? I'd be vibing with him. In-game, though, it's actually really hard to vibe with Kirby because he is not yeah. a particularly good character. His playstyle is very weird, very bait and punishing. You kind of, Ooh. a lot of times, gotta cheese people. Oh, speaking of. Yeah. Speaking of. We love our cheese. Yes, sir. Ooh. Here in Westchester, uh, we have that... Uh, we got that prime PT. Oh, we no, got that you prime gotta be PT kidding me. We Hold got on the a prime PT and the prime Kirby. Oh, that's, uh, th we have th that was the stinkiest cheese I've seen in a long time. Okay, to be that fair. That was some, like, feet smelling okay, okay. <laughs> to be fair. from the backwater countries of France. <laughs> to be fair, as, as, like, as like super spicy cheese as that was, and he's going for the, he's going for the stuff. As cheesy as that was, Ice did put himself in that position. No! You gotta be freaking kidding me. He didn't no. put himself. He kind of put himself, but... It's that that was just unfortunate. That's what I was talking was about. Ice's consistency. Sometimes we're you're like watching a game and you're like, Ice is doing great. There's no way he could lose. Off. And then he dies to down air <laughs> one time. He got you know, fun fact. He fun fact. Good. He died at 50 to down air, and that was the highest percentage he ever got <laughs> to that entire game. You're right. Oh no. Why? Is that also another thing? Ice is kind of like the type of the player that uh, the type of player that like the, it can get to him. I it can definitely, definitely get to him. Definitely can get to him. Also, like, you wouldn't believe it watching that game, but he's a smart guy. He's, <laughs> no, he's, a very he's a, normally a very adaptive <laughs> player. I don't know why he just basically did the equivalent of slamming his head in the refrigerator three times in a row. Uh, <laughs> but uh, sometimes, I mean, like, I feel like his mental's gotten better. Like, I feel like he's able to 
reset his mental quickly if he's just like, uh, if, he, if he just got dared by Kirby three times or just. I'll, I'll believe you at the end of this set. <laughs> yeah, if he if he like if he gets the game, then like that's the that's the wholesome wholesome ending for us. But yeah, yeah. Uh, but I I also like the fact that he's switched up his play. Look at the way he's being very patient. Specifically, he's occupying Kirby's blind spots, going for yeah. these guns, these back airs in ways that Kirby doesn't have an easy way to answer them. Uh, that being said, he gets Arsene at the worst possible time because now he's actually getting comboed. And a lot of Kirby's multi-hits, that drains Arsene even faster. Oh my god, are yeah. you dead? And, like, that's another thing with Arsene, though. <gasps> Recovery! Oh, he I needs to drag him down. Yeah, this is honestly really big for him. Yeah, jump all you want, buddy. Yeah. He just, the fact that Arsene is no longer a factor means that this kid, like, T. John Mark can just play so much more comfortably. Yeah, th that was, like, such a good call. He just saw it there for, like, three or five seconds. Ooh, right back with that. We're barely not going to take it. Okay, the fair sledge. Such a good tool to, like, catch multiple options, to be honest. Up throw? That was so good. You know, so you got the jab into the grab. Yeah. You ha like, you, you have to remember that Kirby's, when, once he gets access to that kill throw, his entire neutral changes. He's no, going to no. be looking for it. It is. It, be, it becomes so different because, like, it's a. It, it kills it, off the every time. Hey! hey. <laughs> Yo, he <laughs> opened the fridge right this time. He opened the fridge. He, he opened fans. the fridge. He's guys. The <laughs> Ice is literally, literally having none of it with with Kirby, man. Oh. He does not want to interact. At the same time, look at, I love the spacing from the John Mark. The way that he's using that crouch and the down tilt specifically to low profile these rising aerials from ice. But now this is actually a terrifying situation to be in if you're John Mark, because you can die. You are off stage now, and there are actually a lot of things that our Sen specifically can do to you. Yeah. But once more, if he manages to, okay, this is actually, this, this is, is so really good. big. Yeah, because... As long as he, uh... Ooh, what oh, the? I was gonna say, as long as he avoids those kill moves from Ice, but Ice throwing out the forward smash, which we yeah. hadn't seen until that point. Great stuff from him, and now he has a lead, and this is honestly a pretty decent lead. He's getting close to having Arsene, maybe? I, but he, yeah, he's, a, like, he's halfway there. If he if he gets some, like, a uh, Rebels Guard, or, like, a multi hit or just any or, hit... Or another down throw, because the fact he yeah, pummels him so much, yeah. Like, he's almost there. Oh, now it's only, like, 20... Like, not, not even 20. I was like 15, like 18 percent. Yeah, granted, uh, oh, I'm to, yeah, he's it, probably gonna get our son one more time. Turn, yeah, see if he can actually do anything with it, though. That's gonna be an up throw. I don't think, oh. yeah, no, I don't oh. think it, it kills now. I, I think it that up throw would have killed. Look at how far down throw sent him. That's like very close. That's very close. And I get why you could go for the up throw there, but like, if you just use another throw, it's not stale. But like, at that point, like, it doesn't matter. Up throw is gonna kill here, even if it was stale once regardless. Really? Yeah, I think so. Um, if it's that close, like you're right. Yeah, because yeah, like, like if it's that close, you're right. Though. I, I do trust his judgment. Uh, you know, he plays the character very well. At the same time, though, I'm fairly certain that even in that, like, you might have, I know that down throws a little bit more damage, but and it keeps up for stale. I mean, like, but. if if the if it if it's like that close, then like I don't think the staleness matters, and up throw still deals good damage, so it's like. I think up throwing is correct there if it's that close though. If it's not that close, then I do think going for the other yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, the oh this is huge! Dude, I hate that trip chance. I hate that that move like auto trips for, for like some reasons. That is what annoying. Up B? Dude, up B is like a dumb move on Kirby. Actually, oh no. Oh, this is really big. Once yeah. again, if he's able to keep himself alive, this Arsene, it's right at the end there. And this there throw means. Yeah, and yeah. now, but he's trapped in the corner. Let's Back air is so Let's scary. Yeah. I don't think Backer will hit the crouch on Kirby though. Ah, uh, if it's very low, it will. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a predictable timing, and John Mark can shield if he thinks he's really worried about that. Will the edge guard? Oh, the deep edge guard? Invincibility! Low tech! Oh, and D. John's gonna take it off of a miss tech. Damn. That, that fair, though, was very, like. Like, that fair was so good there, because it was.